Hi Scorpio. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. I am going to do your weekly angel advice oracle card messages for the week of October 16th through the 22nd, 2016. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I really, truly do deeply appreciate it. Um, I absolutely love being able to bring this to you guys, share this with you, and um, it works, so I do, I feel blessed, and um, I didn't get to mention this to you guys last week because I had already done your weekly when the, when this lady commented but i did comment i on pisces and cancer it was only for the water element she commented on you know how beautiful the you know the setting here is which a lot of you do and you know you guys to this day still say it and i thank you really i do but she, very observant she mentioned how the candles represent the fire element, the stones represent the earth, and you know, the angels, the stars, the moon. Um, you know, the angels, you know, with their moon, stars, represent the air. And then I had nothing I had nothing on the table that represented the water element. And I came in here and I spent a lot of time at this table and that really never occurred to me. So I asked, you know, Pisces and Cancer to comment. And some of them did. I mean, my first thought really was a waterfall. I mean, they, there was a couple good suggestions that I had thought of. But I wanted it to be something different, like special. So for now, I took this out of my curio for my water signs. Perfect, right? For now, so observant. Like, I thought that was this. She definitely has me on a mission. Okay, Scorpio, let's get right into your cards. So, let me say this too. You guys know I change it up a lot here. And because, you know, the. Cancer, Virgo, oh, and Scorpio, um, you know, there, a lot of the signs were really love and relationship based. So, so this week I'm going to do a love portion in it. One card, Whispers of Love, Angela Hartfield, and three Romance Angels cards, Doreen Virtue. Um, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may, it may not resonate with you. For anyone that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be below this video. However, I will be honest, I really got swamped this week with private readings which is awesome. But, you know, I just want you guys to know that if you do request one, two and a half, three weeks, seriously. Um, and, um, you know, if it doesn't, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, definitely just um, check your moon, your rising sign, your Venus sign. And you guys could find that at cafeastrology.com. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, so your first card is the Two of Air. I am using Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot. And the second card also by them is their Angel Tarot. Okay, so... This card is the Two of Swords. You'll know it better as in the other tarot decks. 
Okay, so, and at the bottom of the card it says, being unwilling or unable to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So with this card, you know, you're struggling with the decision. You have conflicting emotions, thoughts about which way to move. So some of you could be avoiding moving at all. You know, this card is head over heart. It's just, um, you know, avoiding making it, making a choice, but intuitively you do know what, you do know what to do, but you're afraid to act. You know, you're at an impasse. You know, there's definitely um, stalemate between parties. Compromise is definitely called for. Maybe even, you know, for some of you, um, an impartial mediator. You know, for some of you, it really it just could be self-doubt. Pretending that there's just no problem. You know, or some of you just could be, you know, overanalyzing the situation. But regardless of what it is, it's definitely you're struggling with making some sort of choice, some sort of decision, whether it's, you know, work, relationship. Um, you're just... You're struggling at the beginning of the week. Okay, next card by the angel, guardian angel tarot. Wow. Um, so, eight of thought. There's the eight of swords. You know, and this is a card of feeling trapped, not being able to move. heart and the mind aren't on the same page. But in this deck, you know, let me say this first, you know, for some of you, it could just be, you know, feeling trapped by circumstances, not believing in yourself, you know, just, it could, it could even be the illusion, the illusion of, of being stuck, you know, being held back by your own precip precipitations. But you can always choose freedom. You know, the situation is, you know, most likely makes you feel as though you're trapped. But the truth is, there's always another path. There is a way to leave unhappiness and and move toward joy. You know, maybe, you know, reach within and touch your own inner strength. You know, know that there is nothing you cannot do you know, if, if only you believe in yourself, you know, just refuse to be in that mindset, you know, that refuse to be, to be stuck in a life that, that doesn't make you happy, you know, and don't wait for someone to come, you know, in and rescue, and rescue you. You could free yourself. You know, make a promise to yourself this week that, you know, you will take small steps, you know, every day, you know, towards the future that you desire. 
Hi, that's heavy. Um. So you're either, you know, you're definitely trying to make a decision either in a job or a relationship. We'll see. Okay, so from messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. Um, so with this card, it says at the bottom, I always resonate with this card as the high priestess. You know, at the bottom it says, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen, you know, and follow the steps I am, communi I am communicating, you know, through your intuition, thoughts, and your dreams. You know, notice repetitious thoughts, feelings, you know, vivid visions, dreams, auditory messages. You know, messages urging you to take action or to make changes. You know, this angel will make sure that you're safe while you follow this divine guidance. So whatever this choice is that you're struggling to make is, is going to lead you to your divine guidance, where you're meant to be. You know, but you, you do need to use your intuition. Um, all right, let's just keep going. Yeah, I had a few, I, I knew what we were going to have to do with relationships. It always does. Okay, so from the Butterfly Oracle cards for Life Changes... Um, relationship dynamics. So relationship dynamics is a card that, you know, there have been some changes in one or more of your, in one or more of your relationships, you know, either with your family, friends, or romantic partner. There's a sense that you have less in common, you're growing apart. You know, and this may be because, you know, you are now more sensitive, you know, more, more conscious. Um, you know, but, but, and cautious, you know, of your feelings. You know, when you're with, you know, when you're with certain people, you know, perhaps in the past, you numbed your emotional awareness and now your feelings are awake. The most important relationship of all is with yourself. So you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in this situation this week. Yes, the relationship involves compromise. But ultimately, if you're denying yourself happiness, this will have a negative impact on the relationship. So, I mean, you are guided, really, with this card. You know, you're guided to be honest with yourself about your needs. Even, even, you know, if it, for those of you that are in a relationship, married, 
You know, it means working with the counselor for support, for support. You know, when you make changes, all of your relationships will be affected. And, and, and this week, it's just time for you to sort through your feelings, all of them, to bring healthy balance into your life. And Scorpio, these two cards tell me that, like, big time. Like, you guys are really deep in thought. Like, almost analyzing everything. You know, you know, with, for some of you with this card, you know, you could be moving your relationships to a healthier direction. You know, a, definitely a healed relationship within yourself. A new, per, a new person entering the picture, changing the dynamics of, you know, uh, of the relationship. There's two people on this card. New person coming in. Let's see what your love cards have to say, but I mean, you know, this is a two. Could be deciding between two people, clearly with these two cards. However, though, you know, eight and two, that's 10. And tens for me are all about completion. You know, everything coming full circle, everything coming to a close, coming to an end, you know, definitely coming out of this eight of, eight of thought. You know, realization setting in, you know, because you thought about it, your intuition set in. And now you know what you want to do. And please don't mind my hand either. I cut myself with a knife earlier this evening, right between my thumb and my pointer finger. So just, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Whispers of Love, Angela Hartfield. Spend some ta quality time together. These cards are so beautiful. They are huge, but I love them. Okay, so at the bottom of the card, it says that it is imperative, you know, that you spend quality time with those, you know, that you are in a significant relationship with. Listening, caring, talking to each other. And it, 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 it's, it's so easy to, you know, slip into the routine of, of daily lives, but it's important to set aside some time to really connect and give your partner your full attention. That's not interrupted. You know, maybe just learn to appreciate each other. You know, just that, that quality time together. Just, you know, make eye contact. Okay, let's see what your love cards have to say. Oh, wait. Well, all right, let's just, okay, well, somebody is definitely worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Let's hit 
This card said too. So whatever it, it whatever it is for you guys, I mean, the time is definitely now. Whether it's a new relationship. You know, if you're already in a relationship, if you're married, if you work on this and even get the counseling, well, let's see what the rest says. Okay, so some of you just might need to release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. All right, so really, all of these cards definitely tell me. Every single one of them. You guys are in a relationship that you cannot get out of. Some of you. A lot of you. And you can't get out of it for whatever reason. And you have separation. Time apart forms, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this reading really is not going to resonate with that with all of you. I mean, every card just adds up to you guys being stuck in a situation, a relationship. And that really does stand out. In every, in every single one of these cards. If you are stuck in, in a job, there's definitely completion. I do think something new could possibly be on the horizon for you this week. Those of you that are coupled, I think the whole problem is either you, I mean, this could always go vice versa. Ever, whatever I say could always go the other way. You know, either you or someone else, you know, possibly an air sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank there, but oh, same thing, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. No sun, moon, or rising. This energy is like so heavy. It's like, I mean, the, 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 there's definitely an ending. That, that's what the choice is for some of you. You know, you're possibly choosing between two people. You know, one is definitely worth waiting for. You know, definitely someone you want to spend time with. You know, but, but you know, this person could really come in this week.
guys really like. I feel this is some heavy thinking. Like, I mean, this here is beautiful. It is. I mean, even this card. You know, you're using your intuition. You know, you're you're definitely being. You know, led. You know, to your answers, to your prayers. You just need to listen to your heart and to your intuition and really just have the strength. I mean, if that's if that's really what you want to do, that's gonna that's gonna make you happy. It will. It really will. If that's not what you want, you know, for some of you, it could just maybe be just a temporary split. You know, an argument. I'm not really feeling it that way. I'm going to be honest. I mean, this, this, this seriously, in all, in all honesty, really looks like a complete and total ending. And you're going to move on. You're going to move on for this. And because the timing is right, and this person is worth waiting for. I'm going to just pull the next card off the top and see. All right, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You know, maybe you're changing spiritually. And your partner just isn't at all, or vice versa, or, you know, maybe someone who is spiritual, you know, is affecting your life. Um, I mean, it's not a bad card. It's just... For some reason now, if it worked for you in the past, it's not now. Whatever it is. Okay, so... you. Know, I think some of you guys have a really rough week ahead of you. Depending on how you handle it. I mean, if you handle it quick, it ends beautifully. If you procrastinate with it, who knows where the energy could end up then. I mean, when I pray over the cards, it's for the week. You're supposed to you know, manifest it that week. And like I said, this read, this reading really, in all honesty, is not for all of you. This is very specific. Every card is very, it is just, it all leads to one scenario. That you are torn and trapped between Staying stuck in a relationship or leaving. Not, know how, not knowing how to get out, but you're definitely influenced by somebody else. That you feel is definitely worth waiting for. Maybe has brought you to a spiritual level, I feel like, too. And it's a new beginning. With the, I mean, it's definitely a new 
forgetting. You're going to start over with somebody else. I mean, these two cards definitely tell me so. This one. And really, even this one. For real. And for some of you, I'm sorry, but it's just... You know, those of you that really... So this is all I'm going to say. Those of you that really... Search your heart and soul and use your intuition. Are going to bring you to the peace, joy, happiness, contentment that you're seeking. Okay, Scorpio. Those are the messages for you for the week. For some of you, it could be really beautiful. For others of you, I am really sorry. Um, because it's really, I'm not, I mean, those of you that know the cards, I mean, you definitely know that this sucks, and these two cards definitely suck. But the rest is beautiful. Really, it is. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. I really do hope you guys could um, make the most of this week. Because you guys are going to get this video early. Because you guys are second. Because your birthday month is coming up. And um, then you guys will always be first. So, you know, really, I really feel like the sooner you, you manifest this, I mean, this could really, um, change a lot for you. Okay, Scorpio, again, thank you, and, um... I'll see you back here really soon. The love monthlies are going to follow the weeklies right after. So I will see you back here soon. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.